In Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne, or Batman, is a seasoned vigilante who becomes distrustful of Superman, played by Henry Cavill, after witnessing the destruction caused by Superman's battle with General Zod. Bruce's fear of Superman's unchecked power drives him to prepare for a confrontation. Manipulated by Lex Luthor, played by Jesse Eisenberg, Batman and Superman are pitted against each other. However, their clash is interrupted when they realize they share a common enemy in Lex Luthor. Joined by Wonder Woman, played by Gal Gadot, they work together to defeat Doomsday, a creature created by Luthor. Superman's apparent death in the battle inspires Batman and Wonder Woman to form the Justice League, preparing for future threats. Affleck's portrayal of Batman is marked by a darker, more brooding, and physically imposing presence, adding depth to the iconic character within the DC Extended Universe. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a look at Panjoy's Ben Affleck Batman or Batfleck action figure from Batman v Superman. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box states Batman with the Batman v Superman movie logo. You can also see a lot of DC and Warner Brothers logo which indicates that this is a licensed product by DC. At the right side of the box, we see again Batman with the movie logo and another logo stating DC Batman 85 years. The left shows Batman and the Batman v Superman logo again. Finally, the back of the box shows some promo pictures used for this product. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if Fanjoy did justice to this character in action figure form. Now, I want to take note the amazing packaging that they did to this figure because it is very collector friendly, especially if you are an inbox collector because it opens here. So there's a magnet there and then you can see the figure there. And then if you remove this, you'll be able to see the accessories and the included stand. So yeah, this is an amazing packaging. And as I said, it is very collector friendly if you are an inbox collector. The figure scales at 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters, which I guess is perfect if you want to uh, display this bad play together with McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. For some size comparison, here he is with McFarlane version of BBS Batman. Here he is with Michael Keaton Batman. Here he is with McPerlin's George Clooney Batman. Here he is with McPerlin's Adam West Batman. And finally, here he is with Val Kilmer Batman. And as you guys can see, he scales pretty well with McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. And since he scales well made with McFarlane DC Multiverse figures, yes, he actually also scales well with the McFarlane DC Multiverse vehicles, including this Bat Cycle from the Flash movie. As for the accessories, he comes with the extra thumbs up hand and, 
a pair of trigger hands which holds the grappling gun pretty well He also comes with a battering holding hands, or I guess we can also say battering throwing hands. Which also makes him hold the battering pretty well. Anyway, he has two of those batterings. He also has this some um, kind of breathing apparatus or face mask. So in order to put this, you will see that it has this huge peg. Uh, in order to put this, that portion of the this portion of the head sculpt, the mess head sculpt, is actually removable, uh, meaning the exposed the exposed uh, mouth and jaw. This is removable, and then you can put this there in order to give give him the head sculpt with the face mask another added bonus is this figure stand which is also amazing I mean just look at that design this Batman and the Batman vs Superman logo but the best part about this is that the joints they are ratcheted they are ratcheted that I'm actually even scared in when I try to adjust them because they are pretty tight ratchet okay now now see this ratcheted so which is a genius move because this is a very you know for its size it's a very heavy figure and one of the common program problems that i have with stands that they tend to loosen up through time but this is ratcheted and then aside from that that this too is also spring-loaded I mean, look at that this is one of the best stand that I have gotten free from a figure now because I bought the deluxe version he also comes with this deluxe uh, and mess head which really looks like Ben Affleck this, in an, this is an amazing unmasked head so basically it comes in three pieces because the neck is also a separate thing I mean just look at that man that is Ben Affleck Now, note that this is only available if you bought the deluxe edition. If you bought the normal version, uh, you will only get everything else except for this uh, alternate and mess head. Because basically when you get the deluxe version, this is actually comes in a separate box like this. So that's the only difference. The regular version is basically everything else that is in this box. And then when you get the deluxe version, you get the alternate head, which they provide to you on a separate box. Now let's have a deeper look at the figures, sculpt and details. Now, first thing that I want to note, he comes with a wired cape which is made of uh i don't know the only i can think of when i spill these materials is the one that also use an umbrella because it looks like a waterproof public fabric now this uh this uh cape is actually removable all you have to do is remove this which is actually also the same way when you want to change the head from mess to unmess now I want to remove this uh, uh, for, for my review of the figure sculpt I'm gonna be removing this uh, cape so 
so let's put that back now since we already had a look at the mess head which is one of the strength of this figure let's have a look at the mess head and i can see that this is also an amazing on mess head it does look like bad black So yeah, amazing head sculpt. Now focusing on the torso and the shoulders, there are a lot of molded details here. The logo is separately molded and I think it's movie accurate. And then the costume itself has a lot of texture on it. Now there's the back of the figure. Again, a lot of molded texture on this which is amazing now for the utility belt there's a lot of details there I love the I don't know bronze gold that was used then there's the back I also like the gauntlet that they also added some bronze gold there it added depth to the detail of the figure and then at the hands there's those uh, bronze colors again on those knuckles at the bottom part of the figure basically again a lot of molded texture there then the shoes again a little touch of that bronze gold to add some depth on the detail overall as far as the sculpt and and basically also the paint job this figure is a plus and i believe that this is actually pretty accurate to the movie correct me if i'm wrong in the comments now for the mess head articulation the head is connected by a ball joint there so you can look up that far e barely cannot look down then side to side then that so that's for the head articulation of the mess head now let's have a look at the mess one now for the mess head he has actually two points of articulation so there's ball peg there and at the same time there's also a ball peg on the neck so you can look up that far you can look down better than the mess head, than the mess head, side to side, and that. So yeah, the mess head has better articulation because, as I said, there's a separate. It, uh, it has two points of articulation there, and then on the neck. For the shoulder and the hands. You can do the T pose. He doesn't have any butterfly articulation. He actually has the same concept that McBerlin does with their figure. Although in the case of Panjoy, this actually does the job which it is intended to do, which is to hide the gap. So it hides the gap effectively. And then he also has bicep cut double jointed elbow but the range is only up to that i think it is limited by by the mold of the hands then double peg wrist so he has a abdominal cut which can do that and then he has a waist rotation so we can whoa Okay, I removed it, but okay, it does easily comes back. So it can do that before it pops up. Then it can, I get, I guess it also has the same problem as McFarlane because it cannot lean forward that much. It can do side to side though. Now for the legs, it has a drop down fully. So we can kick 
well, it doesn't really help that much because you can only kick forward that far and you can only kick back that far and then let's put that back it has that articulation same as with Berlin although in the case of this one it works double jointed knee but the range is only up to that then for the ankle it has ankle rocker it does have a toe articulation there it does have a toe articulation and since it has a drop down i thinking it can do the bend down but yeah only up to that overall this is an amazing figure to be honest panjoy the initial releases of panjoy the earlier releases they did not really caught my interest because their head sculpts specifically are a little off so those harley quinn wonder woman and uh, earlier releases of their Batman and Superman they didn't they, they, they did really get my attention I was not interested because as I said their their head sculpt are a little off which is ironically in the case of this one the head sculpt is actually the main strength of this figure I don't know what uh, Panjoy did but I think they are upping their game because for me right now this is the best bat plate figure in the market as long as you know in the one tenth scale because who else is the competition of Perlain, which as we all know up to now they haven't released any uh, bat, uh, Ben Affleck Batman figure that has a, a really really acceptable head sculpt which I know I think the reason behind that is because they don't they haven't really gotten the rights or uh, yeah, the copyright license or license, whatever you want to call it, to get Ben Affleck's uh, looks. But yeah, right now, I think this is actually a McFarlane killer because they are on the same scale. And proportion wise, to be honest, I think this is more well proportioned compared to McFarlane product so yeah and for its price to be honest it it's not really that much but uh if you are not interested actually with the with the head sculpt with this unmasked head sculpt and just get the regular version it is actually way way cheaper than this deluxe version uh so i guess the you really had to pay the price for that unmasked head maybe because they really got the rights for it because of the maybe the cost of getting the rights of getting Ben Affleck looks. That's why the deluxe version and the regular version, uh, well, at least from the store that I bought this one, has a really huge difference. Like, yeah, like when I look at the regular version, well, that's cheap. Like I said, it's like, like McFarlane, like McFarlane figure cheap so i almost clicked the click the buy then good thing that i noticed that wait there is a deluxe version and that's when i saw that the one the regular version is doesn't actually automatically have the unmasked head which is the main reason why i'm probably buying this product and the deluxe version which to be honest has a huge price difference compared to the regular one has this and mass head sculpt and guys if well to be honest if you want to buy this figure buy the buy the deluxe one because that head sculpt is amazing it's one of the selling points of this figure i'm actually now interested on what's next on on uh, what's next that panjay will be releasing because their releases before this i i'm not really that interested because as i said their faces were off maybe aside from the bat build that bat build is kind of acceptable so in a way i'm interested with it 
especially the one with a good diorama of pets around him maybe that one i will take but the other one the superman wonder woman Harley Quinn, their face sculpts are a little off so i'm thinking maybe they're gonna be reissuing them in this quality because as i said right now in the market for one ten steel figure for me this is the best bat black action figure that we can get around so guys if you reach this part of my video thanks a lot if you like my video please don't forget to hit the like button share and please subscribe and as usual guys enjoy life and keep collecting